Previously on Green Hell. This is Jake Higgins. I'm on a makeshift airstrip in the middle of the jungle. Not Jake Higgins. Again? There's a girl with me. Mia. Coffee, is there a man with you? Over. No. There's nobody else here. Coffee, just stay where you are. Mia, help is on the way. <laughs> this last. I'm just glad you're safe now. And since I know how to get out of here, now I need to find you. Just come home. No, no, I won't leave you behind. The only thing you will find here is disappointment. You don't need me anymore, Jake. It's time for me to go. Stay where you are and wait for help. So I have a few questions, as I'm assuming that some of you do as well. This dude on the radio asked if there was a man with us, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but he also said that it was us again. So we've been here before and asked for help before. And from what Mia said, I feel like she's dead. I don't know, but like just from how she was talking to us, I feel like she's already dead. And my theory as of right now is, is that Mia is dead and that we keep coming back to the jungle because we feel close to her here. I could be completely off, but I feel like that's what's going on. My plan for this episode was to go ahead and work more on our base and like build up a garden and maybe get a farm going, but I can't. I can't. I got to find out more to the story. We found the key that was on the radio. So we're going to go into that shed over there and maybe we'll find something that'll help us progress the story. So thank you guys so much for tuning back in to the series. This is episode 10. Things are getting getting kind of good. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Okay, cli climbing equipment. Oh, we could probably go down that thingy that we found the last episode. Is that scuba gear? Can I take the scuba gear too? What is all this? I don't know, man. What is all this? A map? A map? Wait, yes. what? Yes! What, 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 Matt? Wait a second. <gasps> oh, wait a second. That's where the snake's at. Okay, 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 okay. We're at the, air, the airfield right here. This is where we're at. Oh, so there's a cave over here. Can we go back up over that way? Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, sweet. We got some exploring we can do. Okay, read. Passengers. Jake Higgins. That's me. Okay, I don't see Mia on there. I'm so convinced that she is dead. I am so convinced. Also, what is this? Why is there like a clean room? What the heck? Oh, there's stuff. <laughs> I thought it was a snake or something. All right, read. From Field Projects Department to Philip Smith. Project samples. We remind you of the obligation to examine every unknown species of local fauna and flora. In the last transport, we only received a handful of samples of flora. So far, only 3% of the species present in this jungle have been tested for their feasibility. We expect you to increase the number of packages sent. The procedure remains unchanged. Collect two samples of each specimen. The first one is to be examined on site, and the other one is to be well secured package described in detail and sent by plane. All data is to be included in the catalog. Sloppiness will not be tolerated. Is there somebody behind me? I keep hearing something, and I don't like it. Alvarez, report number eight. Ooh. I've spotted a fire northwest from the Delta camp. Ooh. So far, I've determined that there are around six people on the island. Oh. At least one is a child. Oh, they're talking so about I'm them. guessing these are refugees from the city. I watched them all day. It looks like they're unaware of our presence. For now, the group doesn't pose any threat to the mission. I suppose they feel safe on the island, and are likely to stay there. I don't think they have any useful information, so there's no need for contact, but I'll keep an eye on them. End of report. Okay, so I think he's talking about that camp that we came across in the last episode, where there were people, and they had a kid with them. So we get to explore some more of the area. Here is this thing. Should we go down there? Because we can go over here. That's the bridge that collapsed. But I want to go here. Let's go here to see one. So we just got a trek, make a little trek through the woods. Uh, we're going to have to sleep first, though, because we're getting kind of tired. 
Okay, it is about six o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go down to this platform that we found in the last episode and see if we can climb down there because there's a whole nother part of the map that we can we can search. I'm getting very invested in the story now. Yeah, I didn't think there was gonna be much of like a like a really good story to it. Like I don't know, I just I just didn't have high expectations for the story mode because there's like a story mode and then a survival mode as well. So I didn't think there was gonna actually be like a very extensive story. So okay, let's see if we can go down this. Can we use the climbing gear? Can't use the climbing. Oh, we can. Nice. <laughs> yes. I'm so excited. It's so cool to like have new parts to explore. Ooh. Very creepy sounding. So what do we have down here? Is this just a just a like a little little pond? There's something going diving equipment. Oh. Everything just keeps getting weirder. All this equipment. Where did it come from? The map ends at this C note, but I must take a chance and dive. I have to find her. We're gonna go in. It looks like down through there. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Look at us. Look at us go. Let's not do anything stupid. We've only got a limited amount of oxygen left. My biggest worry, especially whenever I'm recording, is like with games like this where I don't know when the ending is gonna be, is that I'll accidentally end the game like right at the beginning of a video. <laughs> And then I'm like, well, what do I do? It's a three minute video, you know? But I think we'll be okay here. I feel like we'll really have an idea of when we're getting super close to the end of the game. I feel like we'd probably finish the game in a couple episodes if we really wanted to. I don't know, I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end. So we went through here, we dove through here. So we are, I assume that this is the little lake here that we just came out of. Can I come up here? I wanna look out over the, uh, the beautiful, beautiful area. Wow. Wow, there's so much to this map. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just follow the path. I mean, that's a smart thing to do, right? <laughs> just uh, looking for help, following the path. It would be really cool to like, you know, visit the Amazon for like a minute, but man, like being stuck there would be awful. Ooh, there's a path down here. There's just so, it's so weird. Like what happened here? Like who made these paths? Like who, who was in charge of all of this? And, and can, can I get back up whenever we go down here? That's the, that's another question. Okay. So we just found another map location, which is we're right here. So it's a climbing spot. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and just, we're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going. I want to do all of the things. I probably have leeches. I see that I have a little thingy down in the corner. I need to check for leeches. Um, okay, so we're, ooh, we're down in a cave now. Okay, just make our journey down through this little tunnel. This is so cool. I'm so, so pumped for this. How are we looking on everything? We're good, we're good. So now we're, we're down in this area. I'm just gonna follow the river. I mean, I don't wanna go out into the water. Like, I really don't wanna go over there. Like, I do, but I don't. But there's, there's caiman, there's alligators. There's a big old snake that we saw in the last episode. I don't know if they're actually in the game or not. So I'm just gonna go around the outside outside real quick you know i'm going to do something real quick i know it's, it's i know it's early in the episode but i'm going to make a place for us to sleep because i don't know how long we're going to be down here and i don't want to get ourselves into a situation where we don't have a place to rest and then we have to struggle with worms and all that kind of stuff so i'm just going to go ahead and get this done and then I'll be back whenever it's finished. Okay, so we have the uh, the little spot here finished. I uh, went ahead and just built like a fire just in case we need one. Um, it stopped raining, so hopefully if we need the fire, it continues to not rain. Uh, uh, cocaine, there we go. Because this stuff gives you energy. So now we are going to uh, go ahead and we're just gonna dive in, I guess. I don't necessarily know where to head to. Maybe over that way. What the hell? Okay, let's just hope that we don't like get attacked. Okay, cool. These are like little little islands. Okay, that's good. So we can stop if we need to. If we're getting chased by a alligator, or caiman, whatever they're called, alacroca caiman, alacroca. Sh I have a feeling I'm gonna pop up on one of these little little <laughs> islands. There's gonna be a caiman there, just ready to eat my ass. This is a cool little island. Let's look out here. It's got a little rocky cliff thingy here for us. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's another one of these. Oh, am I gonna have to trip balls again? Okay, so if that's there, that means that there's there's something around here because we need a spot to be able to make the ayahuasca. And that would lead me to believe that there's some sort of camp close by. We are currently on the big spot here. What is that red dot? Let's go investigate that little red dot that we just saw. Okay, 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 okay. So this is a spot that we can use the uh, grappling hook for. Yeah, so right here. 
You know, grappling gun? What am I, freaking Batman lost in the Amazon? Oh my gosh. It took so long to find the grappling hook. Now we need a grappling gun, rendering the grappling hook useless. Oh, there it is. There it is. I heard you. Where are you? You vicious, vicious, teethy, teethy butt crack. Where is it? I need eyes on. Okay, there it is. Oh, you're glitching. That's what's going on. What's up, buddy? Okay. Yeah, you're too slow. Why do their necks do that every time I kill one? We're gonna take it to meat though, just in case. You know, I'm very, very upset that I decided to go ahead and build multiple bases and what the hell is this? What is this? It's got solar panels on it. What did we just find? What in the world is going on in this jungle, man? Is this like the research center? Like where they took the stuff and tested it? There's a, a Malu Corp. Oh, okay, so I did sell the stuff to a Malu Corp. Oh my goodness, okay. Hello? Is there anybody? I don't want to, okay, it's fine, whatever. Spray me down, that's fine, I probably need it. Okay, so this is a laboratory. Please insert tube, required item, infected blood sample. What? what? So I need a blood sample? What is going on? Dr. Smith. Report number 26. Observations on Quasia Amara. A shrub from the Samarobaceae family with compound inflorescence and small, long, intensely red leaves. Distinctive characteristics. Its flower contains chemical compounds, quasin among others, which make this shrub one of the most bitter plants in the world. The natives use it to make a brew for fevers and pain. Unfortunately, aside from this usage, I haven't found evidence of any other medicinal properties. Apart from its terrible taste, the plant doesn't have any other distinguishable features. Of course, a sample along with full biochemical analysis will be included in the nearest transport. End of report. So one of the plants is, this is where they're testing the plants at. Okay, let's listen to this one here. Dr. Smith, report number 27. Observations on Guanabana, a small tree in the Anonaceae family. Yellow and green heart-shaped flowers. Oval fruits, up to 12 inches long, weighing on average 2.2 pounds. Covered in dark green skin with soft prickles, white creamy flesh with black seeds. Distinctive characteristics, very tasty. I've collected samples. Okay, so this goes here. Damn it. Now I just need the right sample. My bad, guys. I've collected samples of fruits, leaves, and bark. As with many other species, the natives use the guanabana fruit to make anti-parasite brews. I must repeat some tests to be sure, but so far, the evidence for antiviral, antibacterial, and even antidepressant properties is very promising. I'm not sure if I should get our hopes up, but some of the plant's substances can even destroy cancer cells. I want to keep my professional cool, but for the first time, I feel that we are actually close to discovering what we're looking for. Out of all the potential samples studied so far, I recommend conducting a thorough analysis on Guanabana first. End of report. There's so much to take in. There's just so much to take in. Okay, here's another letter from the field projects department. We remind you of the obligation to example every unknown species of local fauna and flora. The last transport, we only received a handful of samples of flora. So far, only 3% of the species present in the jungle have been tested for their feasibility. We expect you to increase the number of packages sent. The procedure remains unchanged. Collect two samples, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think that's pretty much the same thing that we read earlier. What about this one back here? Field projects department. Uh, to Philip Smith, regarding complaints, Dr. Smith, we are aware of Dr. Higgins' difficult personality we'd like to remind you that it is impossible to continue the research without him. The goal of your mission is to, is more important than any personal animosity. Please take into consideration that Dr. Higgins and his wife went through a lot and all that stress could have taken its toll on their nerves. We believe that you are able to ensure professional relations at the camp and guarantee that Dr. Higgins carries out his duties in a conscientious manner. Two samples in the last transport were broken. You must therefore improve the procedure of their packaging. Each specimen is to be packed separately and secured from uncontrollable movement, unsealing of container contamination or exposure to sunlight. Additional procedure aside from two samples packed as usual, additional two are to be frozen and someone from your team is to check if the refrigerator is sealed and well fastened on board of the plane before it takes off. We cannot allow any samples to go to waste. Okay, so here's the thing is that I need a, I need a blood sample, but I don't know how to necessarily do that. Let's go ahead and talk. Yeah, you're not gonna believe this. 
Yeah, that's right. She's not answering you, is she, buddy? Because she's dead. She's dead. I swear, she's dead. You are hallucinating. You've been here before. You just come back here to try to look for her, or she's sick, and we came back here to try to actually find the cure. One of the two. I don't know, but she is not on this island. I do not believe that she is here at all. Amazon, whatever. I don't know. Okay, so how do we do this? Can I put a parrot there? I put a parrot on it. No, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Oh no. Did we just mess everything in the world up? Oh gosh, we just failed the whole thing because I was being stupid. <laughs> Sable Fusion failed, no duh. Oh, we can put whatever we want to on there. Okay, what about some black caiman meat? Maybe we need to kill a native and chop them up and put them on there. I doubt that, yeah. I don't I don't necessarily know what, what to put on this, to be honest, like, it's very hard to tell. See, is it success? No, okay, well, where are we exactly? We're off the map again. We're completely off the map. So there's gotta be another map then. Is there one here? I doubt out that all this information is going to be here with a map. Let's look back out front. There's got to be more down here. They've been down. Oh, son of a bitch. It's dark. There's no place to sleep in there, which sucks. There's another tent here. Maybe this is like the sleeping quarters. I mean, they had to sleep. Thank the Lord. Okay, so we get to look around here now. Ooh, canned milk. Gross. Guess I'll, uh, guess I'll take that. Um, anything here? Ooh. Dr. Smith. to me about Mia all the time. He thinks that because I'm a biologist, I'm well-versed in medicine. I tried to explain to him that treating people, especially oncology patients, is outside of my area of expertise, but he seems to refuse to acknowledge that. I'm also starting to question his knowledge. Almost every day he shows me new herbs, saying that this time he had definitely found the right ingredient. So far, there's no positive results. He keeps changing his mind and pointing to other plants as if he were guessing. And of course, I'm not rejecting any sample, but I worry that this is a waste of time. End of report. We're crazy. So Mia has cancer. We're trying to find a cure for it, but we are also just absolutely insane. Alvarez, report number three. Camp Omega is now up and running. I checked the perimeter with Vega and found nothing alarming. So far, we switching every six hours. But starting tomorrow, he will be in charge of Omega, and I will move to Delta. We agreed to communicate on the radio on a regular basis every five hours. Most of the team is problematic, but I'm not sure if it was a good idea to take the Higgins with us. We've only been here a couple of days, and I'm already sick of the good doctor's ramblings. He is only focused on his wife, so, <laughs> from what I'm gathering, we just annoy the hell out of everybody with talking about Mia, which makes me think that people are just not very happy with us at all. I hear people. <laughs> Go away, please. I'm begging you. I'll do it. I don't have. Oh, gosh. I don't have. <laughs> Any more arrows? <laughs> Ain't gonna do anything. Crap. That's right. I mean, scratch or abrasion. He didn't even touch me. Really? Dude, he wasn't anywhere close to me. How? Please explain to me. Anyway, I think there's a map in here. There is. <laughs> what? What is all this stuff? Oh my goodness. Wait, what's out there? This is where we're at right now. We gotta go out there. We have to go out there. There's some more stuff in here for us. Dr. Smith, report number 23. Again, it's about Higgins. His behavior is starting to spiral out of control and his obsession with his wife's health is disrupting the team's work. Once again, I want to make it clear that I don't have the professional knowledge to diagnose him, but I suspect a mental breakdown. Makes it's sense. getting worse with each day. Should I put him on medication? We have some sedatives on hand. Please advise. Oh, I almost forgot. I've packed all the specimens according to the new guidelines. I hope this time they will reach their destination without any problems. 
End of report. So we we were having a mental breakdown. That ma that makes complete and total sense. Uh, another field projects department to Philip Smith. Following reports number thirty seven through thirty nine, which confirm that the mission is futile due to the lack of the Y object. Amaluku. Uh, the Amalu Corp aborts any work conducted in this area. Your orders are to evacuate the base. All units are reported to board the plane at 1200 UTC on Thursday. Any delays or evacuation at the different time are not taken into consideration. All equipment is to be left in place. Once the members of the expedition return, they will undergo a year-long quarantine, to which they agreed in their signed contracts. Any attempts to avoid or shorten the period of the quarantine, refusal to undergo tests, or failure to submit final reports shall be treated as a breach of contract. The following are strictly prohibited. Contact with media. Contact with people outside the strictly spe specified group assigned to the project. Contact with other research facilities. Disclosure of any information regarding the task conducted for Amalu Corp. Breach of contract and or NDA shall be severely punished. Shut up. Sorry, I had a timer on my phone and I forgot to turn it off. Field Projects Department to Philip Smith. Change of reporting form. Due to the problems with connectivity, all further reports are to be recorded as audio logs. Reports must contain a number, name of the person reporting, and location. There is no requirement regarding the number of reports. It should be adjusted to any development. Elements. Audio logs will be collected once a week together with the samples. The plane will land as usual every Thursday at 1200 UTC. Audio logs are to be described in detail, packed securely, and ready to be given to the pilot. Does, does, our, does our watch give us like a day? So I wonder if we go to the airfield on Thursday at 12 o'clock if the plane will land. We're not going to do that right now because I want to keep looking around for stuff. We're going to go out to that island out there. That's what we're going to do. We're going to save it first, then we're going to go out there. Pray that we don't get attacked by a caiman. Oh, oh, okay. This is another little place that we could probably do some ayahuasca at. Oh, yeah, 100%. So that's here. That's good to know. That's good to know. We're not doing that this episode. So I guess it's going to take us through there and whatever's inside of that. I want to search more down along this way, see what we can find. You know, you would think that they would have some sort of water collector around here, but I have not seen anything. So we're gonna make one real quick because we really need one. So we have some backup water. We have got some food. It's time to go and explore this side of the map. It's also uh, Thursday. Maybe if we don't find anything, we'll go back to the airfield, but I don't think that we're gonna be able to make it back there by, uh, by the time that we need to. There might also just not be anything over here for us. Yeah, it looks like if I went out there, I'd probably just drown. Yeah, let's 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 not do that. So I'm gonna try to get back to the airfield. We've got five hours to get there. I just want to see. I just want to see if that holds any water as far as they'll be there. I mean, we've already evacuated, so I doubt they're going to be. It's it's worth a shot, you know. Like it, we might as well take a look. So I may or may not have taken a detour. Probably not going to make it back to the airstrip. I'm looking at all these <laughs> islands out here and just as I suspected there's absolutely nothing. Just some like fruits and what's that? What is that noise? What is that noise? I don't like it. What is it? Why? Why? Why do I have music? What is it? What happened? Oh gosh! Scared the freaking hell out of me! Jeez! Oh! Holy crap, man! Holy piss waffle! Um, I don't have I don't have the right stuff for this. Oh, it scared the crap out of me, dude! Holy sh! That is <laughs> what it was. Give me my arrows back, you jerk! That hurt me. I accidentally kicked my chair. Let's look over here. <laughs> Oh, man. This is where I wanted to come to. It looks like there's like a little inlet here that we could, you know, may maybe there's something here for us. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Absolutely nothing. There's literally nothing back here for us. All right, we gotta we gotta get back now. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. We're, this isn't good. This is not, not good at all. Uh, good thing we got a ton of maggots. Eat away at my flesh, please. Thank you. We have painkillers that take care of fever. We got two sets of them. So if need be, we will do that. But we what we really need, to be honest, is sleep. We need to get back to that uh, that camp. All right, so we are on the mend now. Um, I think that's actually where we're going to call it this episode. We've done a lot. We found out a lot of information. Unfortunately, since we got attacked, I didn't make it back to the airstrip. It's now Friday, so we're going to have to wait a whole other week to be able to go back there at that specific time. So I don't know if that's whenever they're going to come since they said they were going to be there. But I think next episode, we're going to take a trip and see what that opens up for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I feel like we're getting kind of close to the end of it. So if you want to see more of this, please let me know if you want me to kind of like take it easy on the story stuff and then get back to like building or something. I don't know. Whatever you guys want me to do, just let me know in the comments down below and we will see you boop, in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>